much. Joining us right now, already trash talking us, <laughs> it's uh, Bill O'Reilly. He's the author of the brand He's new book. Up. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Killing Jesus, number one on Amazon right now. We're going to talk to you about that. But first, we want to talk a little bit about some news of the day. Yep. Killing Obamacare. What do you think about it? You know, I, this way uh, people can't stand uh, politics because this is so unnecessary and so juvenile. It's all about macho and this and that. Here's what should happen. Number one, today they should pass. Three or four weeks, we'll fund it until no. we hash this out, okay? So you take that out off the table. And then um, it should be mandatory because this is a mess, and everybody knows it's a mess, all right? Um, so it should be if you want to sign up for the exchange, you can. If you don't, we're going to give you 12 months a grace period, just like they did with a whole bunch of other select yeah. people. Right. Give the folks the option, all right? And then that takes us into 2014. If Congress changes, all right, okay, let's run it. Let's see how it works. Let's see how many doctors quit. Let's see um, what the expense is really going to be. Let's see what the uh, prescription drug thing shakes down. That's fair. All right, so why don't do that? That would take you 20 minutes to do it, okay? Republicans would agree with that. Yeah. Harry Reid, I think you're going to have to kidnap and just <laughs> put He's it, work. tie He's him into a tree up in Idaho somewhere. Just leave him there for a few weeks. You know, and then we won't hurt him. We just tie him up so he can't say anything. Does it bother you that nobody worked yesterday? They were up against the deadline. They're not even up at 8 Because they're all today. playing. They're all playing, and I mean this uh, sincerely. Both sides are trying to play to their base, and that's what it's all sure. about. I mean, the, the Democrats are going to go Obamacare because the liberals like it, and the conservatives, oh, no, 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 because the conservatives hate it. So instead of trying to get the problem solved, they're all grandstanding right. to their base. And it's just, oh. Um, well, the individual mandate that you mentioned, though, it, in giving someone a year, aren't the Democrats afraid that they'll actually figure out that I'm talking well, about so the American what? people? Well, so what? If it's a bad law work. for the country, then the Democrats should be looking out for the country. If it's bad and it's not working, dump it. Right? Yeah. Okay. You're right. That seems fair. Now, the president, you would think, really would like to see the Republicans get blamed for a Of shutdown. course. Because then uh, it would be Speaker Nancy Pelosi for the, the final two terms. The only chance that President Obama has to get his agenda the last two years is for the Democrats to win the House. Yeah. So he's playing that political game as well. They're all playing a big political game rather than looking out for the country. Now let's talk about Iran. The historic phone call on Friday. The president made it after being blown off for his cocktail party. No RSVP. He decides to make the call. Uh, among the nations worried, Israel. Should they be worried? Yeah, Iran, a bunch of thugs. I mean, Nothing's changed? <laughs> I, I mean, look, I'm not over there a lot. Kill me. As much as you but, would want to be. Well, they're on Twitter now. From what I can see, they're the same thugs that they were three weeks ago. <laughs> they're just trying to be nice. But look, you got to talk to them. Right. All right, fine, talk to them. And then when they don't come up with anything, that's what you say. But you can't be unreasonable. You have to talk to them. How does Obama play today's meeting uh, an encounter with Netanyahu? I mean, in terms of... I think he's respectful to Netanyahu. He says, look, we're not going to give them anything. We're not going to remove the sanctions until we're in there and we're looking. I think you have to reassure Netanyahu. Because obviously Israel knows that they'd like to kill every Jew on the planet, they being the mullahs. Um, so you've got to be respectful and, and say we're not going to back away until we have concrete evidence that they're dismantling this program, this nuclear program. Sure. And see, that's, that's just it. I mean, our intelligence has been that they've been brewing up the good plutonium so they can make it for bombs for sure. years. And, and, and Israel's so, intelligence, too. Right. And so as soon as uh, somebody goes in there, I, I don't know if they'd call them weapons inspectors, but nuclear inspectors, they'd be going... Wait a minute. What's that right over there? So it's, it looks like they're just trying to drag out the game. Maybe. Stall. By Maybe. Time. But, but give them a, you know, a month or two to see what they'll come up with. And then if they're just um, lying, then we'll call it what it is. You know what?